Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about Bitcoin because although we are running really hard, we are approaching the top level of this resistance zone right now. So this may be an opportunity for you to at least move some stop losses up or just prepare for some maybe a little bit more volatility on the downside here, okay? So over the past few months, we've been talking about these Fibonacci levels and how we break out of them, you know, breakout, boom, breakout, boom, and so forth, right? However, right now we are seeing a little bit of a short-term resistance level, so this is much more for you day traders or short-term swing traders. If you were to change the Fib levels and make them not based on log scale, you're going to see a little bit of a different move here. And you're going to see this target level right here of around 81,319. That's what we're dealing with at this point. So if I change from the weekly chart here and I go over to the one hourly chart, you're going to see this. We're having some issues with it right now. Uh, this is going to be the next big wall that we have to break. We talked about this flag last night. This flag actually worked out very well if you guys did that trade. But uh, there is a lot of whiplash happening right here. And this is why trading with heavy amounts of leverage can be very dangerous if you guys are not used to this market. You guys could have opened up a position right here. It could have gone up to 2.55% profit, which again, if you have leverage, is pretty good. And it goes smacks back down, then whiplashes back up. That could be very uh, scary for a lot of you guys out there. But I just want to let you guys know, even if we go over here to the 15-minute chart, we're dealing with this level of resistance. This is going to be a great opportunity for some of you guys to scale out some of your... <clears throat> your trades right now and officially as of about 10 15 minutes ago i have sold off five ten uh seven percent of my bitcoin holdings that i've been buying since last year uh, a couple years ago when bitcoin was crashing so i'm happy to start selling off some it's seven percent i was thinking if bitcoin hit eighty two thousand dollars today i'd probably sell the last three of it but i am starting to sell off my bitcoin even if it's just a small amount the next time i sell my bitcoin will probably be when bitcoin hits around ninety thousand dollars and then of course when it hits one hundred thousand dollars and even then it's going to be like maybe another ten percent another ten percent and then if we start to go sideways for an extended period of time and things are looking a little bit more bearish kind of like what we saw back over here where we kind of go sideways for a few weeks and things are kind of iffy that's when i'll sell more of my bitcoin more heavily but right now i think we're still good i'm still optimistic about where bitcoin's going but in the short term here you are seeing a little bit more bearishness so just please be aware of that if you guys go over here to the daily chart there are some things pumping like dogecoin is going insane right now it was at 30 cents again it is the highest it's ever been in a few years we're going back to 2021 numbers right the next level for uh <clears throat> to me dogecoin is really going to be around 33 to 34 cents so just be aware of that Again, a lot of stuff popping, bonk, you know, Shiba Inu is popping up 24%. We had literally just talked about this yesterday as far as just something you buy and you hold and you wait for it to pop. It's now starting to pop so you can still do whatever you want to. Floki having a pop, Milady having a pop. We're seeing a lot of good stuff here. There are tokens like KDA like up like 2% or ID up 1%. You know, it is what it is, but the meme coins are definitely where money is flowing. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But just be careful with Bitcoin right now. We are hitting our first major level of resistance post uh, Trump breakout. Okay, thanks.